Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm on Kurzweil 1000. Now there is another version, Kurzweil 3000, that gives you extra options or you can integrate your mind maps and stuff. But Kurzweil 1000 is great for converting image files online or physical books and journals that you might have that you want to read back or edit and work with, even create daisy reader books or just standard MP3 audio files. So if you know me, I'd like to get straight into the software, get you up and running, so let's do that now. Before you start though, just a little tip here, if you have got the full version, open up your browser for me. Just type in there for me, read from web, Kurzweil. Now there's a little plugin called read the web, tap on that. I think you get a 30 day trial if you haven't got the full version, but download that, it's a little plugin that enables you to read from the internet. So if you're reading a lot of abstracts and information, NHS websites, or whatever websites you're reading around the world, definitely worth a little look at. It's a little bar that pops up and really useful. I think mine's run out, so I can't use that anymore because I've got the demo version of this software. There's only five days left, so I thought I'd do a quick video. Now, further ado, let's get stuck in. Settings. I Have know you probably want to go file and open, open up a journal or a scan something straight away. But hold your horses, settings. go to Have settings, and go to an option that says here, configuration. Use Kurzweil 1000's I know it's boring, but go to voices at the voices. beginning. By the way, if it keeps talking back, F5 will keep it quiet. Now come to the top here, read voice. Come, So that's anything reading back you've converted, journals and books, it will read back for you in that voice, which will be good old Paul. Click drop down menu. Message voice. You can choose a different voice if you want for message voices. It tells you when your scan's finished, what menu you're in and stuff. Reading Tap off voice. that. But I'm just going to leave reading voice and leave pull. Now important bits here, you can change the voices here and engines. It's got different engines, but mine's all running out because I haven't got the demo version. So I can only really use voiceware and voiceware pull. But click through there, you get so many different voices from Nuance, which is a crate, it's a dragon individual professional which is a brilliant speech to text software and i've got different engines so definitely have a look at the different voices the important bit speed the speed is one i've probably got 150 but the higher you go up the faster it goes 160. Six, zero and if you click test voice at the bottom here friends romans countrymen lend me your the volume is at 80 percent tap back off that and then it will read back a demo for you so you can see the speed of words per minute and again the rest is your choice Emphasis method, you could have changed the pitch. Switch to another voice. Switch to another voice. You might want to jump quickly to Hazel. She's quite Change good. Hazel. The pitch. Right, next come to scanning. Voice scanning. Now she's your scanner, so you can scan off book pages or you might have physical information on paper. Remember, you can't do your handwritten text notes. Remember that. It has to be a font and it will scan it into a readable format for you to work with and read it back. So I'd leave scan and recognize. Now page orientation. I like to turn it round because if you're doing a book odd and even numbers then as you put it in a scanner the book page is going to turn the correct way up and not the correct way up the opposite so this will turn it round the correct orientation for you to work with again you've got brightness there you might want a bit higher than 50 percent so again it's your choice now delay between scans is for a good reason if you're doing book pages it will give you a delay so you could do 10 seconds if you want so when we do a book page and you can take the book out Turn the page around, do your next, and 10 seconds later, it will start scanning. So you could sit there, scan maybe 20 pages off one after another, then it will convert it all. While I'm doing one at a time and converting it, it could take you a lot longer. So if you're doing a lot of books, have a look at that. There's my scanner source there. Again, every scanner is different, has a different twain, which is the engine, which is the software that runs your scanner. And again, I've got a document feeder here. I have got a document feeder, but it's not showing up disabled ah there's my document feeder there i can change enabled. that and enable it if i want disabled so if i have multiple pages separate i could just put my document feeder and scan them all off and convert them all for me and again i want you to play around with that because it does depend on the scanner you've got now i'm going to skip reading. right over to reading when it's reading back i've got it reading back as a paragraph sentence. Each paragraph. you can do sentence line. online but i want it to read sentence. back each paragraph. paragraph for me rather than stopping Characters, this is how it echoes back Words. to you. It will read back every time you type into Kurzweil. So you know exactly what words you've done. But you can change the settings again. Again, these are your personal options, header avoidance, punctuation, level, 
read back some or all you can choose that as well academic work then you probably None. you probably want to go for some all. all. but i'm going to turn that None. off numbers again language identification you can choose per page, per page. i'm fine with disabled and again it's your choice on the other options now i don't want it paused for paragraphs so i'm going to turn that off so it just keeps reading click all apply. changes have been applied then come up the top we've got general Again, have a little look at them. It's your choice, and go to display. display. This is an important bit. If you've got visual impairment or dyslexia, then you might struggle with the text that you're looking at. It could be for a number of different reasons. Tracking. This means how it's going to highlight as it reads. You can see on the right there, it's going to highlight each word. Disable. I could disable that to not highlight anything. Word. Line. I highlight whole lines as it reads. Word. But I'm going to leave it on word. Text. I'm yellow. going to make that yellow actually background as you can see highlight white i'm going to make Yelp that magenta. magenta and background i'm going to leave black as you can see block highlight is blue dark gray gray what should i add there olive green purple break red turquoise green i'll leave it on green now down the bottom here you might have this default disabled. on disabled as so but if you put enabled turn it on single font enabled you can change your font list there I'm going to stick with Arial, change your size, 22, 24, and how big you want the fonts as you convert them. You can have bold on or italic, because some people like bold, they can see it even clearer. Again, choice is yours. Do me a quick favour now, come here, word spacing, you can actually change your word spacing. So I'll click down here. One, this is handy two, again, if I click on it, you three, can see the words separating from one another. Two, one. Zero. Some people dyslexia, for example, visual impairment will need the words separated a bit to see them clearer. Again, the choice is yours. We're all different. And again, margins, margins configuration, configuration, just go through the options, play around with them, but they're not hot key for scanning. Control Alt and S will start scanning quickly. And at the bottom here, Control Alt and K to start Curzel 1000. You don't have to look for the shortcut. Okay, if you want Curzel to start automatically, you've got this option here, which you can do, Enabled. have it start when you boot Disabled. up. Now of click apply, changes have been... and okay, well, I want you to do one more thing quickly. Settings. Go to settings, a and make sure you come down to save settings. Save settings. Please select or enter a name for these settings. I've the top-down menu, I've got other ones there, but I'm going to call this... My... First. Pro. And there you go. Oh, the settings okay. have been saved in my first so now pro. I've saved my profile when I come back. If you don't do that, it won't save all your settings. You have to put them all in again. There we go. All set up and we are good to go. Well, I'll fly into this. If you've got the full version or you've already signed up to a book share, online. click online. A, a lot of students with visual impairment would have already signed up to book share and that. That's a great option. I like this actually. And I can't access it, unfortunately. I'm going to have to sign up to one. Now we've got search for books, look through the search, bookshelves through the book, and search, search for magazines. Magazine. Look through the bookshelves. So if I don't go look for classic literature bookshelves, I've got different sites Project here. Being free library. Through. B O O K S A. Accessible book. Fantasione. Now to get Galeonic. stuff in your bookshelf, online, come online. to online and As search a for title. books. Search for a particular title. Now you can type in here for a title author. or author, depends on what you want. Title. So I just put title. Enter a title or part of a title. Caps lock is enabled put something quite genuine in yeah, as an example and then we'll do a search you see down here and this is where it's going to search down the bottom here bookshare braille and you can tick what you want of click all apply changes have been applied now we'll click ok to do a oh, search please enter a username for now you have to sign up to this have a little play with this later if i drag this over it's still searching but you choose what bookshare or book collection you want to sign up to and you can access it through and error, Curzel, search and you can download Daisy Reader books and audio books and stuff books. to work with in your 44 research. Items were found. So I'm going to click cancel. During the search and, and you can see now they've all come down canceled. underneath. So if I was to go down, I can't download anything, search, obviously. No items have been selected for download. 1530. Oh, please you can click enter on OK and you can even pull them into Curzel. Please enter a click cancel. Occurred during the download of economic and political and if you come up Setting to the top here online, online, you can access them all through your bookshelves. It's just a great way to organise all your audio books and Daisy Reader books and stuff. So, it's so definitely worth a look at. Now, Full let me show you how to use I'm now walking on, sorry. Let me show you how to use the software. Two great options on here. Main one, online journal. You might be doing 
a degree and sociology for example you want to convert your journals so you can read them better change the fonts the background colors you can edit it do your spellings use the thesaurus maybe you want to save it as a word document or even save it as a daisy reader book or maybe just a standard mp3 that then you can then drop that audio file onto your OneDrive, download the OneDrive on your app and you can play that back straight away from your phone with your headphones on. So it's got multiple options to work. So let's have a look. First thing, let's do a physical scan. I've just put a sheet of paper in my scanner. So come to your scan, scan button. So if you've already done new. something ready, go to new one one. and it will bring up a new window for you to work scan. with. Let's go to scan. Menu. So I want to go to insert, scan. insert a new scan. I'm going to click that. And it will now contact my Inserting scanner. Scan. It should Please automatically wait. identify your scanner. It was in the configurations options we looked at earlier. Remember? Scan complete. Recognition page one. So there you go. It scanned it straight in for me. It's got page one. Now, if you want to go to, it's got page two there, but I've only scanned one. Use the page up and page down buttons on the right of your keyboard. Page I'm going to page two. that. Now, that page one's blank. To be blank. Click page up to go to page one again. Rejected as progressive sources of emancipation. Click F5 to stop reading. So if I was to, for example, click F6, 118 Calero. It goes straight back to the beginning. Knowledge are rejected as Click progressive F8, sources of it will jump forward. Following Foucault, Click F8, it will jump forward to the next paragraph. Their, Rose F8. Also Click F5 to stop. So the shortcut keys are not too bad. The shortcut keys, the kind of the F keys that you can play around with as well and to change the speed if you use f11 150 140 130 changes the speed and f12 140 150 160 saves you go up to configuration option quickly so a few of those shortcuts definitely worth remembering not too bad a lot of them because they're f keys so now we've scanned it you're thinking well great but Watch, if I click into anywhere in that document at the end there, I can now edit it, I can delete it. O, T, R, space, R, C, I, open quote. It opens up so much more for us. If I come up the top and go to the tools, tools option, has a sub -menu. we can do check spelling, check spelling. which is the control, control K key the later on. Word is now called and in. there you go. The suggested replacement so obviously is that's not a spelling error. But then I could read context. Read Rose 1996 also addresses the alternative methodological strategies of the Falcon. It actually tradition. reads back the context of where that word is in there. Now I'm happy with that, so I'm just gonna ignore the, that. The unknown word is subjectification. And the then suggested it goes on to replacement your next word. is objectification. So that's a good spell check. Tools. One bookmarks have been. If created. I come back tools. up to tools, has a also Define good a option is the, the thesaurus. thesaurus. Synonyms will be found for subjectification. So I click on the thesaurus. And it will give you, for example, synonyms of the word. But if I come down, adjective, adjectives, adverb, adverbs, noun, nouns, pronoun. and so on. D File has a sub menu. Another quick option you might want to do: come down Launch utilities. Has a sub menu. And then copy. come all the way Merge down. Extract, you can extract, extract all, all images, images, for example, has a into a PDF extract format. Image. Has a or just specific images. You might want to remove image from pane. Images. It might be in the way. Image from page. And again, remove you can remove, all, remove headers, headers and, footers, and footers just to break down the word that you're reading. Create audio Go to files. this option for me. Opens a dialog. Create all audio pages file. will be processed. So all that text there, it could be maybe you scanned off 30 pages of a book. And you want to turn that into a MP3 file to listen to on your phone. And what I said earlier, if you drop it into your OneDrive straight from here, and then you can access the app on your phone, then listen to your the audio MP3s you've created on the moon. So at the top here, I'm doing all, pages. but you can just choose. But in this Processing case, there's nothing on page, page two, two is there. So I'm just going to Two. put page one to one. Again, MP3 format. You can change Daisy that. You might want to use a Daisy Reader, for example. Daisy with MP3 or files. Or Daisy Reader with MP3 or Wave. It's up to you again. Daisy with Wave. Your MP wave. Or just a Wave file, which is a lot bigger, better quality than MP3. MP3. But I'll leave it on the P MP3. Pages per audio file one, and then quality here. Again, you choose your options, what you want. Important bit here is here. We can save Please it select too. a destination folder for the audio. And what files. I would do, the selector is while educational. I'll scroll systems. down and look for my one drive. Folders. One drive. And we create folders. a folder in your one drive. You can save it directly converted MP3 to your one drive and use the one drive app on your phone to read it back with your headphones. So another great option. Now if I click OK, it's not gonna oh, let me do it anyway. Pages will be processed. 
Reason being is, the system does not appear to have I've only got a demo version, so I haven't got the MP3 encoding. You would be able to use you one that we supplied, but this feature is so not available. play with that anyway. If you have got the full version, so there you go. That's working with stuff that you've scanned off in your physical printer or scanner. Don't forget, if you get if you've got a good phone and you take a picture of Pacific Pages or documents, you could then email it to yourself. And then go to Has file and open, open up that image JPEG to, and that should also convert it into this Save option, as. readable opens a dialogue. format. Now, next option quickly. Now go to file new. The rectangular key at the bottom right you can now do a new one. So go, now go, Scan. let's try and Has convert that journal I told you about. Has a sub -menu. Let's go and convert a journal that I've downloaded from Google Scholar. It's on sociology. New. Let's select open. open. Select one or more. There is. And I'm going to open it there. Second one down. The sociology and of click OK. There are 21 pages to be recognized. Not do full 21 pages. I'm going to set a range of pages. To zero. And click OK. And it will now start importing them from the bottom Research right corner. Eight. See discussions, stats, and author pro. Recognition is th recognition complete. Recognition complete. Recognition is th recognition. Recognition is th recognition complete. Re recognition complete. The top of the page was at the back of the scanner. And there we go. We're done. So again, click on the beginning, and we can select the F5 button to play back. See discussions, stats, and author profiles for this public. And F5 to stop. But what I want to do here quickly is show you how to navigate between pages. So with the page up and page down buttons on the right of your keyboard. Page, page two. The source. Page three. Annual. Page four. 116 color. And click F5 to stop. And remember, you can use the F6. And their fate button. This widespread symbolic interact Charles Lemmert 1992. And the F8 button will jump from paragraph sentence to sentence for you quickly. So now I've got the journal in this format, I can work with it. Edit, if I come up settings. top, go to settings. Verbosity. And I want to load my settings. settings file to Remember load. what I did earlier? My first pro. I set that up. Click OK. Settings have been loaded from my first so you can pro. change your settings because you might not always Lemmer want to use the same settings. Lemmer is correct in noticing the so you can change between the pen and what you're reading and working with. And again, we've now converted this a bit like we did with a physical scan. It just makes life a lot easier to work with. I'm going to highlight pragmatism. Come tools. up to tools. Has a sub menu. And select Defi user thesaurus. Synonyms will be found for pragmatism. And select ne next. No thesaurus entries were found for pragmatism. And then if there's any entries found for pragmatism, it will show up there and click done. So that gives us the same option again as we did before. Remember, we file. file. Has a sub menu. We can go to Launch utilities. Has a copy. Remove. Create Save audio that as files. an audio MP3. Remove. Recent. Or delete. Save as. Please Save as. accept or change the file name. The sociology of you the can self. then save it as a key KES is a Kurzweil file, which is great because if you edited it or worked with it or all the set it up with the profile, with the background and the color, of the text and fonts, it keeps all that for you to open it up and work with any time you want. But remember, you've got an option to send it to Microsoft Word. K -E HTML. HTML if you're working with internet sites e or want to upload it. Daisy. EPUB or Daisy Braille. Readers Braille. or Braille. So you've got different options to work to save it as. I know some people like to save it as a daisy as well. Daisy. Or MP3, it doesn't matter because some people use the Victor Reader and they upload their books into it and they can listen to it. But you can also use your phone, so don't forget and click cancel. So there's just a quick overview of using. There's a lot more to it, Curzel 1000. Help. Get stuck, as a go to help, and they've Open got some great options in there to look as at a quickly. The selected use a wizard, it brings up this UI. menu which you'll get at the beginning. And it will show you step by step. You can tick and go through the number of options they've got for you to use. Well, there you go. There's a quick video tutorial looking at Curzon 1000. Thanks for watching.